Um, hello, my name is Nadine James. Um, Alan was my cousin. This is very emotional for me. Alan was 18 years old. I have a son 18 years old, his cousin. My son is due to graduate in five weeks. Alan was due to graduate. They were both going to be the class of 2012. He won't be here for that. This is hurting me as well as my family. We never experienced anything <laughs> like this. We've had people die from cancer and other things, but we never had anyone murdered, especially a child. I can't imagine what my aunt and auntie is going through as a parent. But to have a male child the same age, I can only halfway imagine. I get my strength from them. Because if it happened to mine, I don't think I could stand up here like them. I don't think I could do it. I'm asking you to please do something, make changes. I don't want my child to be in this situation. He's a black male. He just started driving. It scares me. I don't want him to get stopped. And the police just so excited that they shoot him. They thought he was pulling something out of his pocket because he was getting his phone. I didn't put his hands on the steering wheel correctly. I don't want him targeted because he wants to hip hop look and let his pants sag a little bit. I don't want him killed because he's stereotyped because of a dress code. I don't want because he didn't get a haircut and his hair is a little long, they're going to quote, oh, he's a thug. Or because he's with four or five of his friends that may just came from a basketball game, oh, they're automatically up to something. Mm -hmm. I want it to stop. Not just for our family, for all the males. For Oscar Grant's family, for Trayvon, for the numerous others that I don't even know their names. Please stop. Do something about it. I don't want to see any family go through this, not just my family. I don't want to see anybody, especially mothers and fathers, have to go through this and cousins. I'm just a cousin. It's hurt me to my heart. I can't even imagine how my aunt and uncle feel and my grandmother. His grandfather, 80-some years old, and seen everything pretty much in life and has to deal with this and be hurt like this. All I'm asking you, even the police department, get some more training or whatever you need or something, counseling, and be here for the community and stop hurting families and murdering these kids. Thank you. Thank you.